Okay, this is going to be a series of 12 lessons on how I do all my designs. I try to keep them under two minutes, so let's just get started. Okay, now we're going to do design number four. This one is probably the trickiest one because we got to draw a little bit, but I'll show you how I do that, that spray can pretty quick. Uh, for starters, we're going to do a modified version of print lettering. I just put a lick, little extra funk in it. I call it tag. It's not exactly graffiti because we're not making the, the letters double thick and filling it in with color. It's still a one stroke letter with just a little extra pizzazz. So I'll show you some tricks. We're going to do Trevor because that's a good example of how I can use some extra uh, pizzazz, if you want to call it that, to make it look like tag lettering. So far, it looks just like print. One thing I try to do is I actually make the letters touch on purpose. It jumbles it a little bit. I'll make them different sizes and different heights. Um, I didn't exaggerate it too much on this one. Um, so that helps it look a little more like graffiti. Graffiti isn't uh, instantly recognizable. Sometimes it looks a little jumbled for artistic uh, flair. Because if you make it too stiff, then it's just print. <clears throat> and then for T's, I'll put stuff like arrows. And in the, in the O's, I'll put a line. Just a little something. I'll turn my E's into something that looks like a backwards three instead of uh, just uh, three uh, parallel lines and one down. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a tight wrap again. Tight wrap is following the contours of the letter. And you can see that when I'm doing that, it's not just one constant line. It's broken up into strokes. I did a stroke here, ta -ta -ta -ta, and it stopped, and I did another stroke, and another stroke. And that breaks it up, makes it a little more interesting, and you get the, the differences in the line thickness. And from far, it has a different effect, especially if you're moving fast. If you're doing um, tight wraps quickly, you'll have more flair. You don't want it to look stiff, especially with this tag style lettering. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this can. So I got the lettering off to an angle. I'm always keeping in mind that I want to leave room for a spray can. So the spray can is simple. I start with the two lines up and down, and they're not parallel. They're kind of converging. And then I'll do an arc on the bottom and an arc on top, which in reality doesn't make sense. It's not how perspective is drawn. But again, this is supposed to be a little bit artsy, artistic impression. I'll do that lip of the can that kind of wraps around. And you can make it bigger than normal. It's easier to draw and it looks better. Right, it's a little bit exaggerated. I think a little is putting it mildly. This would be like the label of a can. It's off to the side. I'll do one fat stroke and then start to back up to fade it. I leave some blank, uh, some open space on purpose. And then I'll draw the top of the can. And as for the nozzle, again, it's sort of like this can here. I do a smaller version of this. The same shape here is the same shape here. And then one stroke off the back of the can acts like a shadow. It's soft. Okay. I might do a couple of lines and then a little sprayer. And that's it. Didn't take too long. I think it's just a matter of getting those two so you get the basic size and shape. Closing it off, doing it again, an arc, and then that. And for those of us on the team that have um, these uh, displays, you'll probably notice that the spray can I have in the older version is quite ugly. <laughs> I apologize for that. As a matter of fact, most people that look at it, especially adults, they don't know what it is. They think it's a chili pepper. I apologize for that again. So this, this version is much better. It's more solid and people will recognize it for what it is. All right, we're going to put some color in it. Just fill it in solid. Okay. And then I draw the spray. I do a hard line, a hard line, and then nice and soft in the middle. Gives the illusion of a spray. 
Um, and then again, this is the texturing that I use with an airbrush that's super quick. It's a, a hard line and then I do a fade. I'm backing up as, to get that fade as I go up. I got a tight line there. And then I'll draw some tight lines underneath like that. And then one on the top, it's got a wiggle. And that's it. Maybe we want a little bit of extra color down here to fill it in. So not a lot of strokes. I'm not going back over or anything, just bam, 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 okay? I do this texturing a lot in these designs, you'll notice. So that's it, that's design number four.